going to run an injector electrical self-test, or some people call it a buzz test, on a 2003 6-liter Ford Power Stroke diesel. I'm going to use Forescan to do it. And, yeah, this is a Mac laptop. I've got Forescan installed in VirtualBox with Windows XP. I'm not going to go into that, but I'll show you how to do the test anyhow. Once Forescan's installed, you just open it up in settings. Go in and make sure this demo mode is not checked. Set the measurement you want. If you use a metric system, set metric. If not, imperial. Click up on the vehicle and interface information button. And down at the bottom, this icon right here is to connect to the vehicle. I've already got a USB OBD2 adapter in the data port and connected to the computer. So you click it. I've already got a profile saved for this vehicle. So I'm going to open that up. It's connecting. And it's downloading any diagnostic trouble codes it finds at the same time. This one has a few. They're persistent. They're known problems with this particular truck. Now we'll move on to the test. The little clipboard looking thing with the pencil right here is where you run tests for the vehicle. So, KOEO, key on, engine off, injector electrical self test. Highlight it. Down at the bottom, click the play button. This engine's warm, so it should run just fine. Get the little warning. Click OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one completed successfully. No electrical faults found. On a warm engine, a buzz test, it's not as useful as a cold engine. A warm engine, it will show any electrical faults, but if you got an injector with stiction that doesn't operate right when it's cold, running it on a warm engine is kind of useless. Now what happens when this test runs? The 6 liter uses injectors that have screw valves. It'll cycle all of them at first, then it'll go through them in the cylinder number order. It'll slide the spool valve one way or the other, cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then it'll do all of them again, and it'll run through that a total of three times. You should count eight individual clicks between the time when it cycles all of them and the next time it cycles all of them. If one of them doesn't click, that injector has a problem that's either electrical or it's the spool valve is experiencing stiction. I'm going to run the same test using Auto Ingenuity just to show how that one operates. They do the same thing, it's just a different program. Alright, I've gone ahead and connected Auto Ingenuity's adapter. Their software comes with its own OBD adapter that you have to use with their program. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's looking for the adapter now. There it is. It found it. I had already run this on this vehicle, so I've got Ford 2003 and 6 liter Power Stroke pre-selected in here. Enhanced Powertrain CAN or Controller Area Network. And we're going to go ahead and connect to it.
it's going to auto detect all the sensors and that takes a couple minutes so we'll probably fast forward through that finally it's done and it asks you if you want to retrieve trouble codes I usually say yes and have it retrieve them from all systems and we'll read the codes and display them same codes it showed with Forescan which is a horrible name I hate that name but the program works really well and it, it's free so why not all right up on the tabs above the data window test onboard system you click that there's a drop down select diesel KOEO -E key on engine off injector buzz then click initiate the test will run just like it did with Forescan one two three four five six seven eight all one two three four five six seven eight all one two three four five six seven eight and it's done comes up in here says test completed successfully if there had been any electrical faults it would have shown the codes for those in that window now this truck does have an injector with a sticky spool valve seems to only act up when it's cold so when this cools off I'm gonna rerun the test probably in the morning first thing before I start it and demonstrate what happens when one of them isn't working well good morning everyone it uh, didn't quite get as cold as I'd hoped last night it only got down to about 50 so it may or may not show a sticky spool valve on this truck although it has in the past one thing uh, I'd like to show is when you first turn the key on with these trucks the injectors will pre-cycle and they'll make a clatter so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key on they all clatter at first it was a little broken but I got more consistent as it went on so I'm gonna go ahead and connect for scan to the truck and then we'll go ahead and run the injector self-test again it's connecting up Tests up, injector self test, and we'll go ahead and initiate it with the play button down at the bottom. It's all of them. One, two, three, nothing. Five, six, seven, eight. All of them. One, two, three, nothing five six seven nothing one two three nothing five six seven nothing so we do have a couple of injectors with sticky spool valves on this truck and it's really pretty warm for them not to function normally so they're either, they've got some stiction problems, they're gummed up, or they're just plain worn. The truck only has about 115,000 miles on it or so, but eh, poor maintenance could take out an injector in less time than that, so it's, it's quite possible they're bad. This truck had all the injectors on the right bank, the uh, odd number injectors replaced. Uh, I just did it a couple weeks ago. So those are fine. The two that didn't fire are on the even number bank, the driver's side. 
and that makes perfect sense. So hope you enjoyed this and found at least some of the information useful. If you did, please subscribe or like. 